Secretary Bellini Siyum said that no enough attention is being paid from the international community to people affected by the invasion of the terrorist group TPLF in Afar in Amhara regional states. Groundwork Anna reports. According to her, overabundant rhetoric is coming back again and again that assistance is only needed for Tigray region, which is not the case. The escalation of the conflict by the TPLF into the Amhara region has displaced more than 1.1 million people in the region. The IDPs are mainly from Wagamra, North Gondar, South Gondar, Central Gondar, North Wallo, South Wallo, North Shoa zones of the region and Welkaita Zagade. Currently, at the Amhara regional level, more than 5.6 million people have been affected by the conflict and emergency food assistance by the government, partners, local community, as well as private uh, sector actors is being uh, facilitated. The press secretary stated in the Afar region, the affected population is estimated to be more than 260,000 and the displaced persons 100,000. Nevertheless, this data will no doubt increase considering the attacks of TPLF that had been waged on people of Afar in the couples of weakers. Regarding provision of support to the region, the federal government and the National Disaster Risk Management Commission, together with the regional counterparts and partners, are mobilizing resources to the IDPs in the region. It was learned that the Ethiopian government and partners have distributed over 36,000 quintals of food for more than 235,000 displaced peoples as of October 21, 2021. With the specifics to humanitarian assistance to Tigray region, the United Nations Air Service flight has resumed automatically since November 23, 2021. Since then, two rounds of flight have been conducted through UN air flight and an estimated 40 million birr has been transported to Makale for administration and program budgetary expenditures. Some 353 trucks carrying humanitarian supplies are also currently headed to Tigray regional state from Samara, Afar region through Abala Road carrying more than 9,600 metric tons of food and 1,800 metric tons of non-food items. According to Bilani, a total of 160 trucks have already reached Mekali town over the past days. The press secretary noted that on the current peace and security situation, she said there is no doubt that Ethiopia is engaged in conflict with the belligerent TPLF terrorist organization that has been employing playbook terrorist tactics in some pockets. It is erroneous to portray that the entire country has been engulfed in all-out civil war. The Ethiopian government refutes fear and panic mongering about the situation in Addis Ababa in the country. She stressed, adding that such claims are irresponsible and unnecessary. It is extremely disappointing that some key partners have been taking the lead here and encouraging and mobilizing other partners to further intensify rhetoric of doom. Bilani noted, creating atmosphere of fear and security for political purpose is unacceptable. She revealed that the government of Ethiopia has achieved massive military victory over the TPLF group and regained control of various areas over the past few days. The Ethiopian um, uh, defense forces have launched a counter-offensive on the terrorist organization and the prime minister is now leading this from the front. His decision to join the army in the battlefield does not mean a change on the government's principled position of a peaceful solution to this conflict, rather averting the conspiracy of terrorist organizations working in collaboration with their foreign allies is a threat to the, constitu the, to the constitutional order of the state. His decision has inevitably boosted troop morale and emboldened the people of Ethiopia to unite and to resist and to push back the threat of the terrorist organization in the past few days alone, great strides uh, have been made in forcing the TPLF to relinquish their occupation of key areas, particularly Kasagita, Jefra, Burka, and the advance on the Mille front in the Afan region by the terrorist uh, forces, which was aimed at chopping off the entire country from the main corridor for goods entering into the country has also successfully been uh, thwarted, with ver further advances being made by government uh, forces as we speak. Commenting on the disinformation campaign being waged by the TPLF, she said the social media platforms are silencing pro-Ethiopian voices and trying to bring regime change. In social media, we particularly believe that Twitter is targeting and suspending pro-Ethiopian voices that are raising awareness about the TPLF atrocities. However, Ethiopians in the diaspora have continued raising their voices united.